people often ask uh, which of the train the trainers or the certificate programs is best for me. So I thought I would take this opportunity to just say a little bit about each of them. There actually are two train the trainer programs. One of them is based on my first book, Bringing Out the Best in Yourself at Work, and the other is based on the leadership book, What Type of Leader Are You? Uh, they're two very different programs. The first one on bringing out the best in yourself at work is designed to teach people how to conduct and facilitate and lead training activities for individual employees um, in group settings or leaders or uh, a combination thereof and the basic or core applications of the Enneagram and organizations. That is communication, feedback, conflict, teams, uh, leadership style, and then there's some uh, work um, in the book and in the Train the Trainer on growth and development. The um, second Train the Trainer, which is six days long as is the first, is based on a deep dive into leadership. And it dives into the seven most important leadership competencies that are required in today's 21st century leadership um, organizations. So there's leadership competencies that integrate really well with the Enneagram, and they are the most important ones. Strive for results, strive for self-mastery, know the business, think and act strategically, make optimal decisions, take charge of change, lead high-performing teams, and more. And there's a work on stretching your leadership paradigms or views of what leadership is as a way to enhance your leadership growth and development. So this is, um, in this program, leadership development is taught in two different ways. One is through learning communities, which is groups of leaders who are usually in intact management teams, who learn the Enneagram and learn to identify their strengths and gifts and growth edges based on their Enneagram style. And then they t really teach each other about their own type and they end up supporting each other in their growth and development. So this is a fantastic way to create a culture of learning and growth instead of one where leaders feel like I have to keep it all to myself, um, these peers of mine I can't talk to. Instead, it creates a really open, collaborative environment. And in this program also, uh, you're taught how to do general activities that you can do in large groups, small groups, that may be public or could be internal to the organization. Now in the third certificate program, it's not a train the trainers, it's actually a direct uh, delivery to coaches, which who could be managers, mentors, or coaches internal to the organization or have, who have their own practices. But it's a way to learn how to really fully integrate the Enneagram with coaching techniques and approaches. So during this uh, program, there's a series of different techniques and practice times, and then at the end of the day, each person has coaches the same person throughout the week, so you get a chance to really pull it all together. And it is quite a, an enjoyable and educational experience. So that's five days long. So which of these programs is best for you? Well, each of them is based on a different book. There is a fourth book that actually isn't um, doesn't have a train the trainer or a certificate with it. It's called the Enneagram Development Guide. It actually goes with the other three programs, the other three books, and it has 300 plus pages on how to uh, develop yourself or develop, help develop others based on their Enneagram type and goes into specific areas like communication, conflict, feedback, leadership, um, self-mastery. There, You really want to know how to create activities that will work well for people of each style. So it doesn't really matter. People take these programs in any order. Sometimes people take the coaching program first and then choose the other programs they want to go to in any order they prefer. Sometimes people start with bringing out the best in yourself at work because it gives them a sort of a core foundation and then move into leadership and then coaching. So any order is fine. It doesn't seem to make any difference and they're all very different. And I hope that if you're trying to enhance your skills and understanding of the Enneagram and how to bring this in organizations and these programs sound like they may work for you that um, this helps you select which of those might be the best fit. Thanks.